Cindy, since the first time I ever looked at you, I thought, how can a woman be that beautiful? Then we began to talk to each other, and I thought, how is it even possible to be that beautiful and intelligent? Then you did your first Napoleon Dynamite impersonation. <laughs> and I thought, how can she be so beautiful, so intelligent, and funny? It felt too good to be true. Today feels too good to be true. But it's not. We're here. God brought you to me. God gave us a family. And I vow to always stand by your side, stand in front of you when there's danger, stand behind you when you need support. I will honor our marriage every minute of every day to my last day and after that. I love you. would I have imagined that we'd end up here today. I thank God for leading us down the path that brought us here because there's no one else I'd rather go through life's journey with than you. Life can be tough, and over the years we've experienced just how difficult things can get. You've seen me at my lowest, yet you never really saw things that way. You've always looked past my flaws and reminded me just how strong I can. Thank you for always believing me, believing in me, for always uplifting me, and for always praying for me. With you by my side, I always feel loved, cared for, and safe. You're all that I ever wanted in a man, and now you're my man forever. From this day forward, I promise to honor you, cherish you, and always be faithful to you. I promise to be patient with you and to support you even when we may not see eye to eye. I promise to let you think that you're right sometimes, even though we both know that I'm never wrong. Most importantly, I promise to be the best wife and mother to all of our kids. I promise I will love you with every bit of my heart until my last dying breath. I love you. Fabulous, jagged edge. Don't be fooled. I'd rather have you, man. Then everything, I give it all. Just for you. Yeah. You're the one, baby girl, I've never been so sure Your skin's so pure, the type men go for The type I drive the bend slow for The type I be beeping the horn, rolling down the windows for Never been no more, so to get you in closed doors I buy you everything in those stores This, that, and those yours As long as fabulous, the only one you let that grin show for You ain't gotta spend no more I'ma put a rock on your hand You ain't gotta say we just friends no more I shine, you shine, and never been no flaws I ain't like most who just wanna get in those drawers Cause every king need a queen And with me and you girl I ain't tryna let a thing in between It ain't a thing, nah, I mean Chicks hate, show them the ring in the green And let your middle finger be seen It's on Money, cars, and everything All even give up on street dreams All anything to have you on my team I'll just get right into it, right? So Hey! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Meeting Cindy senior year of high school, I never thought that her and I would develop the friendship that we have today. I mean, whoever knows her, she's the introvert, and whoever knows me, the extrovert. Right? How can that even how can that be possible? Regardless, we're here today. I'm maid of honor at your lovely wedding. And though I don't want to make you cry, I'm pretty sure it's gonna happen because I'm already crying over here. <laughs> I mean, I do believe that our friendship was destiny because I believe that Cindy and I, well, she came into my life when I least expected it and it's when I mostly needed her in my life. I needed somebody to make me laugh every day <laughs> to be there for me every day, and she was there. 
her and Janelli. Shout out to Janelli. <laughs> We were the ultimate trio. The three bolitas is what we called each other. <laughs> a. A bit of peer pressure, a house party, and a wish upon a, upon a gum later. That's an inside joke. The rest is history. We've been best friends since. I am incredibly lucky to have had you in my life these pa this past decade. I don't think I could have asked for a better best friend. I love you. I know you know that. <laughs> and let me get the rest of my speech here. A well, it's been a hell of a ride filled with growing pains, so much laughter, and a whole lot of love. Sometimes tough love, but love nonetheless, and you know that. I'd like to take, take this time to thank you and your family for opening your, opening your home, always receiving me with open hands. Muchas gracias, Carmen y Luis, por siempre recibirme con manos abiertas. Los amo. Muchas gracias. And of course, a big thank you to Little Miss Ivory. Where is she? There she is. I mean, you gracefully handed over the maid of honor roll. Maybe a little bit older and you would have beat me. And then came along Christopher, Lisi, Bubba, Faith, and Jenna, and Matt. I am a firm believer that people come into your life when you need them the most, and this here is no, is, there's no greater, <sighs> this day here is no greater proof than that. Because the family that you guys have built, well, it's beautiful. And I love you both, Chris, Cindy. I wish you nothing but health, love, and happiness to you both and your lovely family that you've built, both built. I love you guys. Cheers. So she took most of my speech, so I don't, I don't know. But let me, let me tell you guys a little story. Okay. We were in seventh grade. We were in music class, and there was this asshole right here, like, with some other guy just trying to, you know, clown on me and shit. You know, I'm like, I'm sitting there like, Fucking guy, I don't give a fuck how big you are. I'll smack you in your face. You know what I mean? But look, a week later, I found out he lived, like, down the street from me. You know what I mean? So uh, I was skating, you know, my skateboard going down the block, you know, in Fontana. And I seen this guy. I was like, this is the guy that was over here, you know, trying to be all cool at school and shit. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm sitting there like, all right, whatever. I'm like, what's up, man? What kind of skateboard you got? What kind of skateboard you have? World Industries was a Spitfire or the or the other one, right? Yeah. So, long story short, you know, we became the best of friends, and here we are. What, 21 years later? You know, like 21, like 21 years later. You know, and like his family, like Martha, George, they raised a great kid. Obviously, you know, Vicente, Francine, they all took me in, like I was their brother. You know, everybody, you know, everybody took me in, like. Yeah, uh, always, always. I love you, Papa. Always. You know, all you guys. But this guy, like, I never, like, I've, I, have, I, have, I have a couple best friends, but, you know, this guy, it was different. You know what I mean? Because I learned a lot being around this guy. You know, to be honest, like, the reason I have my 50-year-old daughter is because of this guy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, but other than that, like, I seen, I seen when he met Cindy, it was, it was different. It was like way different. It was like she came into his life and this guy just had a big old smile on his ass all the time. Every time he would talk about her. And I was like, who is this girl? You know what I mean? Like I never met her. You know, and then I met her and I seen, okay, she's, she's dope. She's, she's cool. She's beautiful. She's funny. You know what I mean? Like she's like perfect for him, you know? And then they had Matthew. And I knew, I was like, it's, that's it. 
We're, we're going to end up here where I'm at right now, you know what I mean? Like, but nobody really saw it except for, like, them, I guess, you know? And, you know, like, I, I thank you for your friendship always. You know, your family always treated me like family. Like, it was always, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no doubt how, how much love I have for him, you know, like, his kids, all you guys, Noah, Lisi, Genesis, Faith, Matthew, like, perfect, you know? But I just wish you guys a great marriage, successful marriage. I know you guys love each other a lot, you know, and I hope you guys have many, many years of this, this great engagement, you know? But just, just to let you guys know, I love you guys, and we did it. We're here, right? Hey, 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 we were so nervous about this whole thing in the rehearsal. All of us were freaking out. But look, we're good, right? Shit. That's all I'm saying. Like, we, we, yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. I don't make people cry. I make people laugh, you know? Can I get a Hoya? <laughs> Cheers, guys. I love all you guys. Thank you for coming. We appreciate you, all you guys, and thanks for showing love. Buenas noches a todos. Um, no sé qué decir, no sé, no, uh, no, uh, en español, en inglés, no sé cómo hablarles. O sea, um, Pues uh, gracias a todos por estar aquí, por soportar a, a mi hija Cris. Uh, me siento muy contento que, que estén acompañando a mis, uh, a mis hijos, pues, a los dos, porque Cris ya forma parte de la familia. Um, pues gracias y lo único que quiero decirle a, a ellos dos, tanto como a mi hija y a, a, a mi presente hijo o yerno, pues Cris, yo te estimo mucho porque me has demostrado que quieres a mi hija, que um, has estado con ella, a mí me, me has tratado bien desde que nos conocimos, um, te doy las gracias por querer a mí, a mi nieto, a tus hijos, has estado al tanto de los de todos, o sea, no tienes diferencia. Gracias, bienvenido a la familia. Ah. Ahora, gracias a, a, también a mi hija Cindy, que es un orgullo para mí, que la quiero y… <ríe> Soy… Soy bien sentimental, o sea, soy bien chillón, pero sí, uh, es un orgullo para mí, Cindy, porque esa es mi hija mayor, la primera, claro, está mi hijo Quique, que él es el mayor, pero en mujeres es la, la primera y la quiero, la adoro, todas son mis chiquitas, um, todas mis tres hijas, las quiero y pues, bueno, o sea… Oh, gracias a todos por estar aquí. Hello, good evening. First of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight and to them. To them. I didn't write anything because I don't need to. I, it comes from my heart. First of all, I want to congratulate their parents, my brother, my sister-in-law did a hell of a job. Christopher, wow, the gentle giant. The guy that, you know what, when he was born, I was like, what the, what are we going to do? This guy was like, holy crap. He's a sumo wrestler. <laughs> so we're getting ready to do something, right? But he's the man he is. He's a gentle giant, and we love him for that, you know? At the time when he was born, I, I drove a motorcycle. I was a badass, right? 
But when I got to his house, this guy humbled me like no tomorrow. He said, Uncle Carlos, Uncle Carlos, like what the, and I'm driving down the street and I'm bad with my motorcycle, but he put me down. That is his heart. That's how big the man is. And I enjoyed that so much. Today, to see him and his beautiful bride and his beautiful family and all you beautiful people here today makes me so happy. I am blessed. We are blessed. This moment cannot be forgotten. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. Kid deserves it. Girl deserves it. Give him a hand. God bless. Thank you. Thank all of you for being here. I did sign, had to write something down. Good evening. Good to see everyone in attendance. Thank you for coming to this special occasion. Especially after all the chaos going on for the last two years, it's great to see people having fun. Chris, Cindy, congratulations, both of you. I wish the two of you all the happiness in the world. While I know that you are already a blessing to each other, I know that you will continue to live as a blessed, a blessed life together as man and wife. As Christopher's dad, I always tried to have his back on everything. I wanted him to know that I would always be there for him through the good times and the bad times. Christopher's blessings and trials are ones that I experienced myself. What he goes through, I go through. And I always have hope for the best for him from day one. Even now that he's older, he's always still in my thoughts and prayers each and every day. And I have to say that one of my biggest prayers for Christopher was answered, that he would find someone who would love him and appreciate him, that this special person would be a great partner to him for the rest of his life. Christopher's mom, Martha, shares the same feelings as I do. Thank you, Cindy, for being a blessing in Christopher's life. Because of this, you are a blessing in all of our lives as well. Let's I don't think I'm drunk enough for this yet. <laughs> Uh, first of all, thank everybody from the bottom of our heart for showing up and uh, coming out with us and celebrating this special day with us. It means the most. So, uh, Me and Cindy, we've been together, what now, almost six years. And, you know, with the, the struggles and just, you know, daily life things, we, it was hard for us to picture a day like today. Um, and here we are. We're here with our loved ones. We're here with our friends. We're here with, you know, everybody in this room means something to us. So uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we thank you for being here. We love you all. Um, <laughs> um, I don't want to I don't want to take too much more time. You guys heard how I feel about my lovely wife and uh, earlier today. So. Uh, with that said, I think everybody's ready to party now, right? <laughs> so one more time, thank you guys for showing up. We appreciate you. We hope you have a good time. Make sure when the DJ turns it up, everybody hits the dance floor. And one last thing, um, we have family members and friends that contributed more than we could have imagined for this event to happen, for this day to happen. So to everybody that contributed, every single person that had a hand in making this whole thing happen, we love you. Thank you so much for making this happen.